you know, I was taking a chance on this lot because the seller did not provide detailed descriptions on just about anything. It was just like, includes Kirby games. Well, okay, yeah, it does. All right. Looks anime-esque. Probably can't make that out well in this light, so we'll just put the game in and give it a whirl. Text I can't read. More text I can't read. Can we skip ahead here? Copyright 1982 Nintendo. Okay. This might be an adventure game. Well, it looks like my character is getting beaten up. Alright. What in the blue hell is going on here? There's a lot of exposition, not a lot of action. And now somebody else has entered. Dramatic music. It's a confrontation of some kind. Boy, it's a heck of a lot of talking. And the other two left, and I'm following. And we're all getting on a boat. And going somewhere. Or no, we're not all getting on the boat. Somebody just got thrown off the boat. And now he has to watch the boat leave without him. Alright, I've had enough of this. It's something. Definitely some sort of adventuring slash boating slash maybe even pirating game. Who knows? But it does kind of look like a boat on the cover now that I look at it a little closer. Yeah, okay. Parodius. Hey, if this is the Parodius I'm thinking of, then I'm pretty damn happy that this was in the lot, because the Parodius games are awesome. They're like parodies of Gradius, hence the name. Yeah, let's see, that's the Konami logo. Ooh. For this game alone, I could honestly say I struck pay dirt. Oh yeah. Sweet. <laughs> that one will actually take some time to really play later. I'm not going to get into it right now, but okay, I am... Super stoked I got a Parodius game in this lot. I think that might actually be the first one I've ever owned a physical copy of, because I don't think they released any of the Parodius games here. I think they all came out in Japan, but I've tried some of them via emulation before, and they are a lot of fun. If you like shooter games, then Parodius games are definitely right up your alley. Sort that one in L M N O P Parodius. Okay. Just that all these don't know what they are, so keep that stack separate. This one's made by Yutaka. Looks anime or manga-esque, kind of ninja maybe hard to say for sure let's just turn it on and see what we see Akira 
Can you get Shida? Fuji TV. Yutaka, 1990. Toei Animation. Okay, we definitely have got a lot of Fuji TV games on here. Oh, another side scrolling fighting game. Alright. And we are definitely getting an idea of the personality of this collection. Somebody who likes shooters and Mario games and Kirby games and Fuji TV based games. Too bad I haven't come across any like New Japan Pro Wrestling Game Boy games. Don't know if that's actually a thing. Don't know if that ever happened. Maybe a Fire Pro Wrestling game of some kind came out on Game Boy. Okay. This one won't require any explanation. It said Double Dragon right on the cover. But we will just turn it on and confirm it. Yep. That is definitely Double Dragon. Well, that was easy. Made in China. All right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, that's garbled. Let's try that again. Still garbled. Gonna have to clean that one, I'm afraid. All right. Oh, Contra. Once again, they're making it easy with some of these. Just turn it on and confirm it. Konami logo. And Contra. Stage select. Yeah, that's Contra, all right. Okay. Like I said before, if only they were all that easy. It's either like Kirby Pinball or Kirby Block Ball, one or the other. Yep, we got ourselves a Kirby pinball game here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright. It's got a four player Link logo on there, so that's kind of interesting. Not like I'm going to find three other people with a copy of this game, but hey, it's something. Technos Japan. And the logo. And I have no idea. One player or multi game. Is this like a a River City ransom game or Kunio Kun? Whatever those are called. Kinda has that feel. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. Oh, it looks like I got Saga clean. Saga 2. At least this one lets you speed up the scrolling text by holding down the A button. Alright, that's enough of that for now. Let's give it another try. Yeah, we got a Nintendo logo. Aramon Busters works. 
have no idea what's going on in the game, but it's working, so I can figure that out later. And there we have it, 26 Japanese Game Boy games.